G'day viewers and thanks for having us back around your house and welcome back for another fantastic episode of Blokes World, a show brought to you by two blokes, myself and Camera 3. Say g'day. G'day. Hard at work over there. Anyway, we got a massive episode for you on tonight on Blokes World. First up... G'day viewers and welcome to the first ever running of the Blokes World Sporting Clays Cup and we chose Keith's Field and Game Club to be our first one ever and I'm here with the President. Stephen, welcome to the show. How are you? I made really well. Now look, we were down here in the town of Keith for the fantastic dirt and demolition derby. And today we're, we're shooting sporting clays, which is, we've told our viewers many times, it's basically golf with a shotgun. We basically walk around, shoot targets, five targets a station, five stations, 25 targets around. That's right, that's right. And then uh, we'll come back to the clubhouse here, have a bite to eat and do it all again. Awesome. I love this sport. I tell you what, if you want a set of golf clubs at home, take them down to Cash Converters, buy yourself a Browning because you're missing out, aren't they? Absolutely, absolutely. Anyone from, we've got kids here from eight years old to people in their 80s shooting. It's a ladies shoot. It's a, it's a good sport for the whole family and they learn gun safety and, and wherever you go, you can shoot anywhere in Australia and wherever you go, there's all like-minded people doing the same thing, just having a great time. Well, you could have said that better because I even remember when I went to the field and game nationals in Seymour and it came down to the final day and it was a battle between a nine-year-old and a 70-year-old taking it out for the cup. And I can't think of any sport in the world that you could have such a wide range of age competing against each other. No, exactly right. You're all on an even, even keel out here. It's all about eyesight and reflexes. And as you get a bit older, it's, uh, you know, how to read the conditions a bit better and read the clays. Kids just show no fear. They just grab the gun, throw it up there and shoot them. Yeah. Where uh, if generally when you miss them, you, you put too much thought into it. We try, uh, at this club, we uh, emphasis on having fun. And if you shoot a few clays and go well, well, that's a bonus. Mate, well, as I've told everyone, my best uh, shooting is done with the mouse in the editing. <laughs> A lot of my misses come up with hits. So uh, let's start the comp. Thanks so much for inviting us. Ah, not in anything today. Well, I hope you're enjoying the show, viewers. We're having a great time. Right now, I thought we'd explain the viewers. Now, a tractor pull, it's basically a tractor pulling a sled up 100 metres. Yep. And the object is to get your front tyres over the finish line, it's called a full pull. Now, in the big boys, we got to interview one of the guys who drives the actual sled. Mm. And his job is actually to move the counterweight forward the more they go down the track. Yeah. Which engages the rippers. It makes it a really hard job. Thankless task, isn't it? Oh, mate, tractor pulling. I mean, it's one of the, it's one of the, probably the only motorsports I can think of it that you can't practice at home. No, it's illegal to it's practice. It's illegal to practice yeah. tractor pulling. You've got to come down on the day mm. with your tractor and have a pull. <laughs> Let's go. Right now, back to the full pull. <laughs> right, our viewers, right now we thought we'd meet one of the sled operators. Mark, welcome to Blokes World. There you go, mate. Yeah, not bad. Thanks for coming. No, mate, what a great day, eh? Sleds, tractors, dirt bikes, demolition derby. I mean, it's like the big day out for blokes, isn't it? Oh, but, mate, it's awesome over here. Look, Keith's just go off over here because everything normal tractor pulls aren't quite as big as this but Keith bring it on really good and it really it, it's like tripling the population of this little town isn't it it's, the whole town's just packed everywhere in town there's accommodations booked there's tractors and trucks everywhere oh mate like the people come from all like the caravans over the back they travel from Adelaide even from Sydney we've had people come we've yeah. been talking to so it gets really good advertising people come and support it which is really good for our sport as well because people see it and then they go to other events yeah awesome now you're out there you're operating one of the sleds you're operating the sleds for the uh, smaller tractors that yeah. Right? yeah the mini sled the white one which you'll probably see on the footage later on mm -hmm. um, so yeah I'll be trying to attempt to stop them today awesome. having fun and we should explain to our viewers the, the the goal of a tractor pull is to get the tractor and the sled across the finish line and it's called a full pull yeah, well, I try. They try and get it to the 100 metre mark, yep. which is a full pull. Um, and I, but I basically try and stop them from getting that. Um, so yeah, they can go anywhere between 80 to 100. And if they get over 100, is a full pull. Then we have to have a pull off. Yep. So after the the uh, session's gone on their particular weight class. I reset it if there's two full pull tractors yep. and then they have a pull off or there can be more. Yep. If there's just one, he's actually the winner and then it goes back from there. And you're doing that by adjusting the weight so as they're going down the track you're moving that weight closer to their back wheel and digging the rippers in? There is a, well at the start there's a test pull which you'll probably see on the footage later on. The yellow light will be on which is a test pull. I put X amount of weight in which I think will stop a tractor. Mm -hmm. Then they have a test pull. It will go and they'll give me an opportunity to see how far they go but they get another go at the end. They come back around again because yep. once the yellow light is off 
the sled is set, then they go into competition mode. Yeah, right. But yeah, I put weights on as to how much I think I, they need, and I set the rippers on the back of the sled to pull in at a certain time, because that basically really pulls them up. A lot of dairy farmers love this sport. What other sort of people are getting into tractor pulling? Oh, there's a lot of women. Yep. Uh, mates, when I look after there, she's driving, the kids drive. They've started from the mowers and they've gone up to the class. They're actually Australian champions. Awesome. Uh, two years running, and they'll probably take it out this weekend again. Um, but there's, yeah, kids step up now from the mowers, wives drive, there's dairy farmers, mechanics, all sorts. You don't have to be, anyone that likes noise and wheels yep. can do tractor pulling. Mate, thanks so much. We'll see you out in the track and have mate. a good day, mate. Hey, have a good pull. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just love saying that. We're going for a full pull and if not, we're going to have a pull off. Yeah, yeah. Unreal. <laughs> How good is this chicken? It's really good. I'm just uh, worried about the messes I'm making you. I oh, mate, don't worry about it. Just don't mess up your new blokes who are polo shirt, mate. No, that's don't, what I'm worried about. Yeah, don't get me that messed up. Anyway, right now we're going to commercial break, but before we do, taking us to the ad break, we got to sneak in backstage at the Keith Hotel and find out what makes a great palmer, great chicken, and believe me, those boys in the kitchen, Tyler and Georgie, his assistant, they were smashing out meals left, right and centre. That pub, Mm. Opens the next day at 8 o'clock in the morning for a full buffet breakfast. Yep. Great back being back in the country, isn't it? And eating counter meals and proper sized meals and not something that belongs on a TV show, you know, cooking show. Like proper Aussie meals. Yeah, it was good stuff. And when else do you get to see behind, you know, under the hood of a, of a pub kitchen? So, exactly. Uh, exactly. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, do a trick. You haven't done one in 10 years. Anyway. <laughs> Right now, let's go find out what makes a good schnitzel. We're in backstage once again. We're in the kitchen. And Tyler, welcome to the show, Chance. Cheers, mate. Thanks for being here. Mate, you just knocked up a palmy for myself and a uh, chicken schnitzel with, uh, what do you have, pepper sauce? Absolutely. Pepper. Yeah, a ripping yeah. meal. We love our chicken schnitzels here. Mate. All made from scratch, all done well. I think it's our highest selling thing by double any other meal. Yeah, awesome. Really? Can you let our viewers know what's the secret of making a good chicken palmy? From scratch, got to do it from scratch. Chicken breast, butterfly it, bang her out. Just do it all properly. Don't use tinned sauce. Make it all from scratch. I'm not telling you the, our recipes though. No, 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 you'd have to kill them then. No, 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 it's no. a great little town, isn't it? Yes, love it, love it here. Yeah. Always been here, always had a lot of fun. Anyway, do we expect to see you out in the paddock? Tomorrow, go check out the uh, the action that's happening out there? Uh, my old car's actually gonna be out there. I'll be flat out here though. Uh, Old Subaru Outback will be getting crashed over some ramps and stuff, I think. Yeah, nice. One of the old boys will do it. Oh, so, mate. Yeah. As soon as we had your meal, we've been out filming all day, tractors and dirt flying everywhere. As soon as we had your palmies, we put us into a food coma. Oh, we, we nearly had to go crash out. Excellent, that's what we like to hear. Mate, absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on the show. No, it's nice Thanks for you. looking after us. Oh, all guys, mate. Can I have a look at a menu? And it is a very famous town, Keith, for the actual yeah, motorcycling and racing and, and tractor pulling, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. As of course, Andy Cordicott, the uh, Dakar legend that's uh, from Keith, born and bred, and uh, it's, a, it's a very strong, tight community of 1,280 people. Yeah. Oh, you can feel the vibe when you walk into town. It is a very tight-knit community, and the, the love of motorsport is, yeah. is very, very rampant throughout this town, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's just not only motorsport, it's um, uh, football and netball and hockey and cricket and it's a very proactive and a good community that pulls together and um, everyone helps each other out. Love this place. Anyway, right now, we're going to go and have something to eat. You're going to commercial break. See you after this. Viewers, we are making such a mess here. We've got a, we're wearing our brand new polos and uh, got plus six one there on the sleeve. Got our new crest here embroidered. <coughs> and when you buy these... They will not come with any sort of sauce <coughs> or any sort of buffalo wing sauce. <coughs> Camera through you, all right over there? She's pretty spicy. They, they are hot wings, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I don't know why uh, the Jack Russell wants to eat them. Oh, jeez. I'm even thinking, I was even actually thinking about an eight hours time when the Jack Russell passes these. <laughs> That's going to be fun. And it's also going to be fun when someone orders a uh, gold member pack <coughs> and gets a buffalo wing in there with it. Oh, I know, totally, totally. Yeah. We should say uh, anyone 
They bought a uh, merch office in the last couple of weeks. Sorry, we've been on the road. Uh, my old man's been doing all the uh, postage. <laughs> someone out there has got my stapler. He, <laughs> he sent my stapler off to someone who bought a gold members pack. Yeah, so well, congratulations. If you've got a stapler and wondering why, it's because my dad's been doing the uh, merch. Anyway, right now, I thought we'd head back down to the fantastic town of Keith. And we had a great time there that week. Mm. A great display of cars, headers, tanks. I tell you what, let's go show the viewers right now the tank. The tank? Yeah, let's go show them the tank. Yeah, this was incredible. I mean, this is a Centurion tank, you know. It's, uh, it's a bit of history in itself. It was awesome. Anyway, right now, let's head back to Keith. Oh, good day, viewers, and welcome back to Blokes World. We're having an absolutely fantastic time here in the shed, bringing you another quality hour of Australian television. <laughs> right now, let's head up north to Queensland for the CQBBBB which is the Central Queensland Bulls, Bikes, Buggies and Bands. An absolutely great event that we love here on the show. In the far high country Shrouded by clouds
Well, viewers, we just watched the pro buggies come in, and there was one buggy that was screaming and just peeling those corners off. Michael Marson, welcome to the show, champ. Cheers, man. Awesome. Having fun out there? Yeah, mate. It's first time here. We uh, we actually uh, missed it last year. We had a, a big end for end flip at the weekend before at a national uh, off road event, and uh, we, and we we actually missed it because of that. So uh, first time here. We've come here just to try and support Doug and um, support what he's trying to do here. Mm. It's a good family uh, family event. And uh, bring the car out, show off a bit, have yeah. a bit of fun, you know. So. Uh, mate, we were here uh, last year for the first ever event, yep. and I rang Doug straight up, New Year's Eve. Mate, we've got to come back. It is a fantastic cool. event, isn't it? Oh, it is, mate. It's fantastic. And, mate, credit to him for the amount of work that he's put into this place. Like, this just doesn't happen overnight. To have so much happening in one place, honestly, I don't think, I haven't, I haven't seen it before. Yeah, so. no, it, it is. It's like everything you want if you had ADD. Because <laughs> every time you turn around, there's another race and another oh, sports yeah. starting. Yeah, there's mud, there's mud buggies over there. There's drags. There's off-road. There's, it's everything. And so. they, I was just noticing Enduro cross boys. Have yeah, you seen Enduro. I think they're doing their race um, I think that starts soon, doesn't it? So awesome. So you do you race in the Australian off road series? Yeah, we race in the Australian Championship. Um, so we we sort of travel to pretty much every state in Australia. I think there's a race. Yep. Big one that we do. Um, we've yeah we just travel around all over the country. I've got me trailer, me set up, and yeah me and Chris me me uh, navigator. We've got a crew that comes with us and. Good fun trips. Awesome. How, how fantastic is Fink as an event? Oh, uh, mate, Fink is. Um, we, this year we had a word. We had it. It was epic mm. because it was 140 cars, 650 bikes, and it was just chaos, you know. And uh, and we come ninth outright, which was good. We got in the top ten, and uh, which was a real feather in the cap. We were pretty happy. And yeah, it's the second time for this car at Fink mm. um, after I brought it in. And um, yeah, I think next year we, you know, we'll go a bit harder and try a bit harder and go a bit, bit stronger, hopefully. Well, look, you know, there's no point of being the richest bloke in the grave. Graveyard, is there? You know, you want to spend your money on some toys. I'm, yeah, they reckon, they reckon when you go to the grave, you've got to be sliding in sideways and with a smile on your face. So, uh, but no, look, it's good fun. We, uh, we you know, we, we take it seriously, but we, you know, I mean, off road racing in Australia is um, unfortunately race for a $20 trophy, yep. which doesn't pay the way, but I mean, we don't care. We just go for fun. Exactly. So. And what have you got? What, what have we got sitting there in the back? So, what, what we built here was we're in off road racing in Australia, we're allowed uh, six litre capacity maximum. Mm -hmm. So uh, John Barbagallo in there, who's really well known around Australia for yeah. pro stock racing, yep. um, he pieced this engine together for me. Mm -hmm. um, 805 horsepower at the flywheel, wheel, Ooh. and uh, we run an Alban sequential gearbox, which is made in Ballarat, yep. in, um, in in Victoria, and um, yeah, and then like I said, the rest of the car was done in, in America. And um, she's, yeah, pretty good. Oh, mate, absolute weapon. Michael Marson, thank you so much no for being on man. the show. Great show. And, uh, look, I hope, um, I hope you guys are backing in because uh, we watch it all the time. Mrs. gets a bit thing. you got to watch that at night only. And I say, yeah, yeah. So. Don't worry. Can you imagine the pressure I'm getting off my missus? You know? Yeah, don't, yeah. don't worry. I'm getting it tenfold. Oh, it's a great show. I mean, you guys have been running for, for years. Yeah, 14 years now. 14 years. There yeah. you go. Well, we've had pay for about... I reckon 10 at least, and we've watched it ever since. So oh, mate, it's awesome. unreal. Fantastic. Excellent. Anyway, right now we're going to pay for the show. We're going on a commercial break. We'll see you after this. Cheers, Mark. <laughs> Cheers, man. Hey, no worries. worries. G'day viewers and welcome back to Blokes World. Hope you're enjoying the show. We're having a great time here, aren't we, Camera 3? Oh, yeah. Well, you're getting paid 50 bucks a day to say that. Anyway, right now we're going to cut to burnout love dedications when we went down to the fantastic town of Orange and caught up with Team Ranger Racing. If you love your Fords and you love your Cortinas, start texting your mates. Here comes a Ranger and a Cortina. Burnout love dedications. G'day viewers and welcome back to Burnout Love Dedications. And we've got a regular on the show. Sam, welcome back to Blokes World. How's it going, mate? Awesome. Now, since we had you on the show last, getting a lot of emails about the Cordy. They're loving your Cortina, eh? Yeah, she's a bit of a beast. Ah, oh, she is definitely a beast. And today we're going to let you smoke it up in Burnout Love Dedications. Who would you like to dedicate your skid to? Uh, the wife, the kids and Bob Ramsey. Bob Ramsey, your brother, the angry chef. Yep. Awesome. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, crowd, what do you reckon? Burnout Love Dedications! Then 
I did yesterday And I know I'm gonna love you even more tomorrow, baby Cause that's how you make me feel I'm gonna pay you back And when I'm near you I know you feel my body right Well, viewers, that's all we can fit in tonight's episode.